Good afternoon and welcome back to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. We've been coming to you live from the Singapore FinTech Festival. Joining me for this segment, we have John Roberts. He's the co-founder and CEO of Mosabi and also one of the winners of the Global FinTech Hack Accelerator. Thank you so much for joining us hey, at the you. festival. And congratulations. Thank you so much. That sounds fantastic. Before we get into uh, some of the benefits of being part of the program, tell us a little bit more about Mosabi. So Masabi is a mobile platform that uses digital education to qualify emerging market micro-entrepreneurs micro for financial products. So it's an Android-based platform, uses uh, narrative, storytelling, um, data mining to create an alternative credit score, shown to be predictive. All right, so what are some of the benefits from being a finalist at, for the Hack Accelerator? It's been an amazing program. So we've had a corporate champion, a COO of HSBC Singapore, who's been helping us understand a lot about the fintech scene here. Uh, the KPMG staff have been amazing, and we really feel like we... Um, so I actually went to school here. I did my master's here in Singapore. Oh, wow. Um, but I still feel like now that we've been through this program, I have such a greater visibility of the fintech scene, and really how to contextualize our solution for the region using Singapore as a base to launch into ASEAN. So how has um, it helped with the adoption of your solution within the uh, ASEAN community? So we've been running up in Africa up until today. Mm -hmm. um, and as part of this program, we've been localizing the solution. We have not yet launched in ASEAN. Um, but that is the plan. It, like rather immediately kind of benefiting from this program, from the network that we've gained from this program, from the learnings that we've gained from this program, right. to utilize Singapore as a base to launch into ASEAN. So which customer segments would you say benefit the most from uh, Mosabi? So I think the, the most exciting um, opportunity is also the greatest challenge, and that's why I think we were one of the winners, is 50% of ASEAN uh, adults do not have a bank account. 50%. So we're, our goal is to increase that percentage. Our goal is to increase, to go into that 50%, into the sort of BOP, into the base of the pyramid, mm -hmm. and help them access financial services. Because basic financial services really are a human right. Without, right. without access to those services, you're excluded from so many other things, be it um, renting an apartment, be it getting a car, being it so many other things that like, like, are the long tail of financial access. Do you think it's more of an infrastructure issue or really just education and understanding how the banking system works? We think it's twofold. So it's financial literacy, which is the piece that we've bit off, but it's also financial access. It's the banking uh, institutions that could address these segments often choose not to because of the high cost of customer acquisition and perceived risk. We help de-risk that. We help take these no-file, thin-file clients and create the file that will then allow for the banks to onboard them. Okay, John, thank you so much and thank congratulations so much. once thank again. You. And stay tuned with us throughout the day. We're coming to you live from the Singapore FinTech Festival. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.